Hey guys, how are we? Great, except we've been waiting here forever, but apart from I'm that, sorry you got me five minutes before a BPS training started. Uh, right, well, you know why you're here. Uh, the clip I'm guessing? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, there's three things. Right, anyway, um, there's three things in the clip that we've picked up that are all issues. Well, two things in the clip and something else related to it. The first thing is your uniform's incorrect for starters. You have blue, a blue shirt with black pants. You can't have that. That's not uniform structure. So you're out of uniform structure for starters. You need to make sure that you're wearing the corresponding pants, which is the dark, there is a set of dark blue motorcycle pants to go with the dark blue shirt. I did not um, know that. Okay, cool. Right. Well, hopefully you can fix that. The second I will thing, fix that. Right, the second thing is obviously the uh, massive amount of air. Um, this is considered reckless driving under uh, motorcycle procedure. Um, you need to avoid doing anything like this. This is something we teach in basic training as to avoid getting massive yeah. amounts no, of Yeah, no, I, I understand that, and I thought that was going to be the bigger issue. Obviously, the, the bigger issue here was it was my oversight. We, um, we the, the 10, 12 Mary that I was in, we'd been on patrol for a fair while, and I think there was quite an urgent call for shots fired at a police officer. Um, we were responding, you know, with urgency. Um, yeah, we just come down, what is it, Vinewood Boulevard, which is quite flat. We turned left and head down the hill, and I just wasn't thinking, to be honest. It was just like I completely forgot the hills were there. Um, and I kind of realised that at the last moment when I said yeet, and it was kind of like, oh, God, I know exactly what's coming now, and that was kind of my reaction. And then suddenly, yeah, when I got yeah, that air, I saw the car. the shots fired incident with one officer down to now a shots fired incident with two officers down. Correct. You hurt yourself responding. Correct. So that's another issue. On top of that, you also didn't fill out in a MBU incident report form. Yes, I did. I absolutely did. I, I remember right. doing that straight after patrol and it'll Not be... In I 100% I 100 filled out an incident report, Giles, and I can prove that because I've got Discord messages to some people saying I've just filled out my incident report, so I can prove that. Well, I've checked the internal roster and it... it Unless you put somebody else, unless you put your streamer's name, which I don't think you did. No, I feel fulfilled. Let me have a look at my Discord messages here. Have a quick look. Okay, so I've got one to my community director, um, which I said I was getting in trouble for this. I'm just glad I filled out my incident report. Uh, there was one just after the stream to my other community director, Twitter fail, and I said, luckily I filled out my incident report. James actually reminded me after I went offline to fill out an incident report, and I said I'd already done it. All right, well, there's something wrong with my tab then because I don't have it for some reason. Oh, I, I absolutely remember filling it out because I said, you know, I, I said obviously what had happened, that we were responding, that I inadvertently got air and collided with a car and that the injuries were significant, obviously, and the bike was written off. And I remember writing that the motorcycle was written off. Right. Well, um, we'll con I'll consider that machine's busted and I'll need to fix that. I'll need to chase that up later. But nevertheless, we still have the problem of the air... Yes, um, yeah, I understand well that. Your uniform. So, um, be because it was done on live stream stuff, you understand that you have a greater sense of, um, there's, there's not, there's like, you, there's not, there's less leniency that we can give to streamers because you're representing public, um, the public, representing us to the public, so, Anyway, under that circumstances, you are going to be receiving an official documented warning on behalf of uh, the BSDO side of things. Um, I don't so if I, was, if I wasn't streaming, Charles, what would the uh, penalty have been? Would it have been a verbal warning? Still, still would have been the same. No, there's no verbal Cause warning. Because from what you just said, it doesn't seem that way. And if I'm getting staffed in 
If I'm getting a higher staffing, just because on media, then I'll need to speak to Darren about it. No, you're not. You're getting because what you just level. said, what you just said, Giles. Like, I'm sorry, I'm getting fired up because what you've just said means that yes, I understand from a community perspective, I consider everything when I'm streaming, absolutely everything. What I told you was, we had just gone down Final Boulevard at high speed. I forgot about the speed. I don't know if you're going to be staffing James over this because you can see on the clip too, he forgets about his speed and gets air as well. Now, if you I, haven't staffed I, James I, and you haven't contacted, if you haven't staffed James and you haven't contacted him, Giles, that tells me I'm being targeted because I'm media team. Now, I'm going to go straight to Darren about this. I am recording this conversation. I'm going to need to speak to him about this because what you've just told me was because your media, we're holding you to a higher standard and you are actually undertaking a media staffing, which is only an activity that Darren can do. Or another media staff member. I'm not undertaking a media staffing. I'm undertaking. But you just, Charles, you just told me. You literally just. I, I accept. I will absolutely accept a, a verbal warning or whatever. But telling me that that's going. You're going to hold me to a higher standard because I'm live streaming. You can't do that as a non media staff member. You cannot tell me that and you cannot let that influence my punishment. Paul, you're receiving the minimum punishment. Well, no, no. According, according, according. Here, it is a verbal warning. According to the to the um, according to the policy memo here for BTE, the minimum is a verbal warning. Well, I come on, Giles. Like, at least know what at least know what you're doing here. Come on, man. Like, I'm I'm trying to I'm I'm trying not to get fired up too much. But when I'm told I'm going to get hot, held to a higher standard because I'm media team, that's only something that Darren or a media staff member can do. I'm happy if you want to send them the clip and let them deal with it, that's fine. From a BTE point of view, absolutely, you do what you need to do. But please don't mix the two up. Please don't mix the two up because that what that does is that means that you're taking a role as a media member into an account when this is simply a BTE policy thing. And the fact that you haven't staffed James over this, when you can clearly see him in the clip ahead of me getting air over the same bump, tells me that that's the case. There is no other motorcycle in the clip that I've been looking at. You're the only one present. Can you send me the clip, please? Unless it's... I've only seen the clip that was brought to me in general. So if there's another clip with a... Another MBU member who's done the same thing. At the, at, in, the first, in the first second, in the first second, I'm just going to put this on my recording, you can clearly see the motorcycle ahead of me. Clearly see it going air over the bump. I just just at the end of the intersection. I, I only saw it now that you brought it up. So who's that? Come on, Charles. Paul. Just, can, can, can you please I, give me the written warning so I can go to Darren, please? But Charles, you can't you can't say to me because I'm I'm a media member, I'm being held to a higher standard. That that is that is completely wrong. No, media members, media staff members, and media admin can can take action on that. If I've if I've faltered in representing the community correctly, I absolutely recognise that. But you cannot you cannot possibly take into consideration I'm a media member for breaching a BTE policy, and then and then. Uh, uh, elevating what what should be a, a verbal warning up to a written warning, as you said. It, it, you said it was more serious. You said it was you said it was more serious because I'm a media member and because I was live streaming, Charles. You actually said that, and I've got it on recording. I'll play it back for you if you want. I, I, I'm not denying what I said, and I don't understand why we're having an argument. We're having an argument, Charles, because I don't agree that this is worth a written warning. I agree that it's worth a verbal warning. Absolutely. Yes. Okay. My uniform, very minor. I can fix that. That's that's simple. I was simply loading up the EUP. Okay, fine. I'll fix that. Not a problem at all. Absolutely not a problem. The air, I think that's easily explainable. As I said to you, we were responding high code, high speed code to an officer down. The, the highest priority. We'd come off Finewood Boulevard. We were going high speed. My bad. Okay. Yes, absolutely. Take that on board. That is 100% my responsibility. I don't think, and I've filled out my, I filled out my incident report, and I've got all the Discord messages that back that up. I filled out my incident report. 
for some reason that hasn't come through i don't know why that hasn't come through that's obviously an issue at that end i don't know that's that's completely beyond my responsibility but i did my report and as i said to you i remember filling out my injuries two broken legs two broken arms significant internal bruising and a written off motorcycle that is exactly what i put in the report but to turn around and say because i'm live streaming we're going to hold you to a higher responsibility for bte that Charles is a media issue and the way that you said that exactly told me what is going on here which is you're not receiving a verbal warning because you were live streaming you're going to get a written warning Paul you were never going to receive a verbal warning regardless of who you are if I catch members doing this you're getting a written warning it doesn't matter who you were I was simply adding a little bit of emphasis which you've decided to take and run with that's not emphasis, Giles. You actually said to me, I am being held to a higher standard because I'm a media member. I've got it yes, on recording. Just, just because I said that doesn't mean it influenced my decisions. I know I have restrictions within my ability to deal with media members. I'm aware that you guys... As I said, Giles, okay, fine. We'll yeah. agree to disagree here. I, I'll, I'll, I won't fire up. I won't get angry. Again, can you please just go through the motions? Can you please give me what I need to be given? And then I'll take this up elsewhere. I'm trying to, but you've been arguing with me for the last 15 minutes. You are receiving a written warning. It does not affect your position within the subdivision. It simply states that we have talked to you about the situation, which you have admitted to, there is evidence of, and you won't accept that there was some wrongdoing on your part. It's not going to affect your promotions. It's not going to hold you back from being promoted if you become eligible. It's just so that we have a written, documented side of the events so that if we have to speak to you again in the future about a similar situation, we have a paper trail that it has happened. I did not intend to obviously come off the way I did because I do not do these very often. Most members of my unit are quite well behaved and sometimes things happen. And unfortunately being a media member, t media member team, people can clip things that happen when stuff happens to you, which is unfortunate being one of those, I suppose. But nevertheless, you are going to receive a written documentation irrelevant of any tags that you possess or any position you're in. The simple fact is that you need to be more careful when you are driving. It is, and we literally do a section of Los Santos in our basic training with emphasis on not catching air and slowing down for intersections. You and your companion, who you've still not given me the unit number of, because I will go and talk to him, are going to both see, receive exactly the same punishment for both of your faults in judgment when it comes to your driving. You need to be more careful in future, which you're aware of. Just remember that the hills and the top of Vinewood are ridiculously steep and you need to slow down for them regardless of what you're uh, responding to because you could just as you're aware of you created more casualties by the way you responded which is a problem in its own right and we don't want that to happen you're welcome to go to Darien and make any formal complaints against me I'm happy to give you the BSDO um, a report form where you can report me on that. I'm happy to give you the staff form. I'm happy to give you the internal affairs form. Whatever you desire. But the simple fact is that your position did not affect your punishment. I was simply trying to add a little bit of emphasis that you were aware of. Now that that is concluded, do you have any questions and would you like any appropriate links? Um, the only question I have, when Nick Wall had that obvious big accident on his motorbike and ran into the suspect, what was his punishment? Nick I'm Wall 13. I'm unaware of an incident. Can't, can't give me DA punishments or anything like that. That's a breach of our policy as a staff. Okay. That, that as well. Okay. All right. No problems. Well, I'm sure IA can search it. All right. Thank you, gentlemen. No further questions.